So the title of my presentation is uh, Experimental Archiving, Artpools website as a digital archive of underground art in Hungary. Um, when talking about the notion of digital art archives, we tend to think only about intentionally created structures with databases and the conscious strategy behind them, and forget to mention the organically developing collections of knowledge conceived in the digital space. Through the example of Artboost website, this presentation aims to reveal an alternative concept and methodology for building an online repository, a digital archive of a certain field of art. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, the underground art scene developed in the 90s. Artpool Art Research Center is a prominent example of collecting, storing, preserving and sharing knowledge on underground art of the socialist regime in Hungary since the 1970s. As an initiative established in 1979 by artist Gyert Galantai and his wife Julia Klanitsai, Artpool was created with the aim of collecting and distributing information on the unofficial art scene in Hungary, not supported by the state, therefore receiving limited visibility both in the country and abroad. The roots of this activity lead back to the Balatoboglar Chapel Studio, organized by Galantai between 1970 and 1973, a summer artist studio realized over four years providing an opportunity for the young generation of avant-garde artists in Hungary to present their works and collaborate. The establishment of Artpool was inspired by the idea of documenting and preserving the materials of these experimental, partly illegal cultural activities. The funders were also actively part of the international male art network from the 1970s on, Therefore, the collection was based on a huge amount of artworks and documentation received through the post. The experimental character of Arpus archive originates from Galanta's 1979 concept of the active archive, referring to the dynamic operation of the archive by not only collecting and preserving, but also initiating and distributing the materials of underground art by organizing events and generating discourses around them. The website of Artpool, which I also used to illustrate my presentation here, has been developed between 1995 and 2020 by Jörg Galantai, one of the founders. For the East Central European region, this period of the emergence of new technologies, first and foremost the internet, was also characterized by the positive vibes around the change of the regime. The techno optimism, um, the techno optimism was therefore also emphasized by the possibility of becoming part of the international global art world. As the information on underground art was hardly available publicly before 1990 in Hungary, the potentials of the World Wide Web as a global network established a utopian atmosphere for artists whose activity was formerly controlled and censored. Artpool.hu was created in this context as the first web page of art institutions in Hungary. The website is based on a complex hyperlink structure surrounded by, the, by a multimedia environment for artworks and information on the Hungarian and international art world linked to each other on several layers. Inspired by Galante's former male art activities, the internet served him as a platform for communication and building networks from the very beginning. The net provided the possibility for Artpool to share information on the avant-garde art of the 1970s and 80s, therefore creating the largest online collection of the documentation of underground art and experimental practices in the Hungary. Galantai used the multimedia potentials of the web to create a unique environment for this specific field of art thereby ensuring the website itself to be an experimental piece of art by using the internet as a medium. Artpool.hu therefore not only serves as a digital archive of the underground art scene in Hungary, but also as a relic to be archived as an archetype of the internet culture of the 90s. The access to the internet provided the circumstances for Artpool to transform its former activity 
of experimental archiving into the digital space. The first drafts for the website here on the left Designed by Galantai require the same approaches that ARPO used for collecting information on the international art scene. The invitation sentence, please send me information about your activity, welcomed visitors on the homepage, evoking a call Galantai made to his contacts of the International Mail Art Network in 1978. This approach represents the main idea behind ARPO's operation using the potential of networking to dynamize the archive despite its peripheral position. The internet as a technological form of networking has supported, has supported this idea from the 90s on. As stated by Zdenka Badovinec, due to the lack of access to institutions of progressive artists of the former Eastern Bloc, archival practices under the socialist regime were characterized by the method of self-archiving and self-historicizing. Artpool has been concentrating on archiving its own activity from its establishment, not only in the form of documents preserved in the archival space, but also by distributing a Samizdat publication called Artpool Letter or the Samizdat Kazat series Artpool Radio in the 1980s, that included descriptions and recordings of their activity, still serving as primary sources of underground art practices of the period. For Artpool, the possibilities of the digital environment and the internet have emerged parallel to the accessibility of a wider public, therefore sharing knowledge based on the materials preserved at the archive was as important as communicating about Artpool itself. The idea of considering Artpool's website a digital archive is also connected to the structure of the website. Galanta's first drafts for the menu page and the construction of the website adopted the logic of the archive itself, not only by reflecting on the experimental character of Artpool as an art project, but also by evoking the system of the collections in the online space as well as creating specific, spe specific pages that use the archival formats, such as thematic chronologies, uh, bibliographies, registers of artists and actors of the underground art, other encyclopedic collections, and the various types of digitized audiovisual content. The materials archived in Artpool are not only presented as documentation on the website, but in many cases, the experience of the physical access to artworks was transformed into the online environment already in the 90s. One example is the artwork like web page Universe, presenting a piece from the collection, the first issue of Guillermo Deisler's book work series from 1987. The website designed by Galantai experiments with the possibilities of linking the visual and textual elements to each other on the website, drawing the network of ideas and references behind Dazzler project, Dazzler's project and Galantai's own associations related to Artpool's collection. Another example is the page called Networker Bridge, transforming the bookwork with the same title into a multimedia online art game in 1998. Artpool's institutional conditions have been challenged several times over the past four decades. The changing political atmosphere around 1990 led to Artpool's legalization and the change of its status to an NGO. In 1992, the archive moved from the Founders Studio to a new location provided by the Municipality of Budapest which enabled the archive to operate with fixed opening hours and public access for researchers. After operating as an NGO for 25 years, in 2015, Apple became a department of the Museum of Fine Arts in Budapest as a result of the ongoing political attempts in Hungary, rendering the existence of non-governmental organizations impossible. Galantai has reflected on this institutional transformation on the website as the end of history by evoking William Flusser's essay on the end of history. The new era of the institutional operation was accompanied by the reloc relocation of the archive's physical space, as well as a new concept in developing Artpool's website. 
The renewal of the website was initiated by the new generation of leadership directing ARPU since 2020. And the new version of ARPU.hu was published in 2021. But the previous version remained available from the new site. Reflecting on this process, we can conclude that the institutional transformation has emphasized the status of the, of the old website as a digital archive. Thus, the archived web page is not only interesting for studies of web archiving and internet history by preserving the 90s web aesthetics, but by serving as the primary source of information about Hungarian underground art, it also amplifies the possibilities of using an institutional web page of the early internet culture as a platform for experimental archiving. So thank you very much for your attention.